So now if I press right mouse button, this happens. And if I press one now, nothing happens. Right mouse button and I have the pistol pose. And if I now press two, I will switch pose to iron side. Three, hip aiming. If I let go, I'm back to this locomotion state. Okay, in previous uh, video we established some of the mechanics that you would normally see inside a game like um, aiming, changing rotation, changing aim offset and changing uh, move speed based on your inputs and actions of the player. However, uh, there's one more thing we need to go through which is the overlay system of the animation uh, graph. So, um, how, it how it works, it works exactly as we already did with base poses and how we are blending uh, different uh, picking one of the blend poses, storing it, and then pushing forward to use as a blend pose for different animations and different states. So, uh, what we want to do now is to set up overlays, and overlays are by design made made to blend upper body only animations and hands only animations, so first person perspective animations, on top of third person perspective animations. However, they can be used in various different methods. You can, for example, uh, use them to add states of uh, player being wounded, uh, being uh, sick, uh, bleeding, or you know any other state, but you can also use um, a modification tags to do that. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to set up uh, modification tags uh, to be used uh, inside this uh, blueprint to switch weapons. Because inside this, uh, an, this basic setup that we already have and with the free animation starter pack, we have um, three idols. We have the pistol, rifle, hip, rifle iron sight well and prone but let's focus on those three that are being standing up so this is iron sight this is hip and this is pistol okay so we're going to be switching between those three poses based on um, a changeable tag so i'm thinking about using either overlay or you know what we're going to make two examples so on one we want to switch one of the poses on two we want to use the second pose and on three we want to use the third pose <coughs> we're going to need our component and we're going to say uh, setup overlay pose and now here here and here one two and three we're going to specify our overlay poses but first we need gameplay tags to actually represent those overlay poses here and also by not picking any overlay we are invalidating the pose so let's go here go into our uh, example tags let's add a tag and uh, let's call it animation dot overlay dot uh, hip and then duplicate iron site you know what let's uh, call it something that you will like a gameplay example so let's say shotgun uh, this one will be mm, rifle and the third one will be let's duplicate will be pistol okay save and now one will be animation overlay pistol second one will be animation overlay rifle and the third one will be animation overlay shotgun so this is the entire setup on the player side. So overlay setup, compile save. And now we can go back to our anim graph and we already have this overlay pose and we can read it directly here in the anim graph. So what we want to do is set up another uh, state machine, which will be state machine. Uh, it will be called overlay pose and we're going to save pose and call it overlay pose just like that so uh, on entry 
we have state, which is entry. And this entry state can't be uh, just empty the way we we're going to use it. So what we want to say is that this is just the base pose. So we're ignoring any overlay in this one. So if the overlay pose is invalid tag, we just want to use the base pose. So now instead of base pose, we can use overlay. Because it's basically the same at this setup right now. It's exactly the same, the overlay and the base pose. But if we have a valid overlay, we want to enter our conduit. So if our overlay pose is valid. So if it is valid, we want to enter the conduit. And uh, in this example, we want to actually be able to go back. So if our overlay pose is valid tag not we want to go back so if it is valid we want to add a state which will be pistol and then here we want to add state which is rifle and we want to add state which is shotgun okay so for pistol we want to take base pose um, catch pose base pose and want to blend uh, bone, layer blend per bone, and the base pose is the base, and the blend pose is pistol idle, because there is no uh, walking or running for the pistol, it's just an idle pose. So I want to put it here, and I want to say that our layer is spine zero one, blend depth is 3, mesh space rotation but however because how you would normally set up extra IK you want to add another blend and you want to say uh, AK hand root you want it to be overloaded by this pose however those animations they don't really use IK so even when you go into animation Wait, bones all here. You can see that the IK bones, they're not really moving, which is terrible. You you should have them matching the FK bones due to many reasons. But yeah, uh, normally you would also want to blend those as well. So let's say that we are blending them and this is a standard blend, full weight and mesh space rotation. Okay. Okay, and we want to go here if our overlay pose is equal <coughs> pistol pose and we want to go back if it's not pistol pose. Okay, and now we have to do this setup uh, two more times. So this is rifle. and shotgun by the way right and shotgun copy shotgun nut okay okay and now from here you can copy this paste it here and say iron sight but not death but idle idle rifle iron sight and here you want to just paste and just say uh, idle rifle hip Compile all of those animations. Let's see. Conduit will never be taken. Please do so. Oh, yes. Can enter transition. Always can enter transition. <sighs> okay. So we got this set up. So now if we change those overlays, they will be always visible. Doesn't matter what, um, what we do. We'll just be changing those overlays. So let's hit play. Let's just change to one, 
standalone play. Okay, so I hit one pistol. I am looking around. Uh, two iron side rifle. Three the shotgun pose that we picked. So let's say pistol, and I hold right mouse key, and now I am doing aim offset. with the pistol and I am strafe walking but if I let go I'm still using the pistol pose and yeah this happens two looks a bit weird three looks even more weird okay so let's uh, change that. Let's say that this overlay is going to be used only by a single pose. So this is one way to do it. Like we can go back here and instead of um, doing this overlay as an entire blend pose, we could just push um, some of the poses through it, but we can do it on a programming level as well. So that's not really that much of a problem. We can go back here into the character and we can say that here uh, we want to add a new variable and we'll say weapon for example it will be a gameplay tag instead of doing this uh, we want to just set this variable and our weapon it will be pistol rifle and shotgun and that's our choice And now here, we want to know that we are uh, holding the mouse button. So let's say ADS, and ADS will be just a bull value. And we'll just set and set, true, false. This is false, this is true. And now that we have set up this, and we have this uh, base pose. We can also drag from here and say set up overlay pose. And the overlay pose for while aiming is just this weapon tag. And overlay pose when we are not aiming is just invalid tag, so an empty tag. So this will just invalidate the variable. Okay. However, if we switch weapons while we are doing the overlay, uh, we want to check if ADS is true on all of those. And if ADS is true, we want to take our component and say overlay, uh, setup overlay, weapon. Okay. So now if I press right mouse button, this happens. And if I press one now, nothing happens. Right mouse button and I have the pistol pose. And if I now press two, I will switch pose to iron side. Three, hip aiming. If I let go, I'm back to this locomotion state. And I don't have problems with blending. One again, jump, aim. And we have this pistol pose again. And let's see it in multiplayer. Let's say two, play as client, and hit play. Okay, right mouse button. One, I have the pistol pose. Two, the rifle uh, iron side pose. And three is the hip aiming pose. The aim offset itself is not even half bad, so it's okay. 